Firefighting in Canada this week is brought to you by VFIS of Canada, a division of CVIS Incorporated, Canada's largest insurer of firefighters. First, a roundup of recent fire chief promotions and appointments from across Canada. Then, the Victoria Fire Department took delivery of their first electric fire truck. And, the Chaplain's Platoon is a new charity for firefighters focused on spiritual wellness and support. A number of fire departments are welcoming new chiefs to start the summer. Ian Cummings has been selected for the top job with Peachland Fire Department in British Columbia, moving from his previous role as fire chief for the city of Armstrong. The town of East Gwillimbury hired Corey Mainprize as their new fire chief and named him a member of the town's senior management team. Duncan Rydall has been chosen as the fire chief for St. Joseph's Township in Ontario after 25 years of firefighting experience. Sean Cobra was promoted to the regional fire chief and manager of protective services for the Columbia Shuswap Regional District in British Columbia. And Kingsville Fire Department in Ontario has promoted their deputy fire chief, Jeremy Garand, to the interim fire chief position after the departure of Jason Suchiu. Victoria Fire Department took delivery of their new electric fire truck, expected to be in service this summer once staff have completed their training. The department said it expects the Rosenbauer RTX to run 95% of its calls in full electric mode. This will be the third of the Rosenbauer electric trucks to enter service in Canada, with the cities of Vancouver and Brampton having their apparatus delivered earlier this year. Chaplain Ted Leck has founded a new charity to support the mental and spiritual wellness of firefighters. The chaplain's platoon is made up of a network of chaplains that can identify and place a member of the clergy at a fire department's request. In an interview with Firefighting in Canada, Leck outlined the importance of having an arm's length representative that firefighters can communicate with and confide in. I love going in as a chaplain. When I go in as a peer mm -hmm. support, I recognize that sometimes peers want to talk to peers. But when people come and talk to me as a chaplain, I'm arm's length. So if mm -hmm. someone is writing their test to be a captain uh, and they don't want to jeopardize that, but then they might have be in a in a tough moment after a tough call. And so now do they get the help, even though they might think wrongly that it could jeopardize them being a captain. So, and what I found is some people won't do it with me because I'm arm's length and by profession, I'm sworn to confidentiality. Uh, people will come and talk to us. Thanks again to VFIS of Canada, a division of CVIS Incorporated, Canada's largest insurer of firefighters. Stay tuned for our next episode on Friday, June 21st.